But if you know what God has done for you, extra is the only thing to give to God because if you knew, like I know, where he brought me from, then you'd understand why every now and then, even when I want to be dignified, even when I want to be quiet, even when I want to be cool, calm, and collected, something on the inside starts scratching to get out and says, boy, you better open your mouth and give me some glory if you know like you say you know. I know that he is perfect. I know that he is sinless, but it's not the deity of Jesus that draws me closer to him. It is not his deity, it is his humanity. When I start to look at Jesus, I realize that just like any man, he got tired. Just like any man, he got lonely. Just like any man, he got hungry. Just like any man, he got thirsty. Just like any man, he had questions. And most people will appreciate the deity of Jesus and ignore that the Bible also teaches us that he was not just God, he was also man. And so when I look at the life of Jesus, I'm refreshed by this reality that even he needed this time to relax, to repose here in the midst of this hostility that he's yet about to face. But unlike some other folks, Jesus is able to accept the service we give to him, even though it's different from somebody else's. See, everybody can't be like Mary and everybody can't be like Lazarus. And all you can be is who you're supposed to be in relationship to how you relate to Jesus the very best way that you can. They flock to see Lazarus too. Because you see, when the power of God has been manifested and realized in your life, it becomes attractive to other people. Somebody said that curiosity killed the cat. No, curiosity created conversions. Because the curiosity of Lazarus' life brought them to faith in Christ. And every now and then, you ought to be willing to let people see what the Lord has done in your life. God wants to show you off, put you on display, so that others would want to come to know Him through what it is you express. But there's something else in this passage that leaves me slack-jawed, my mouth open and scratching my head. Because the text says that they came to see Lazarus, the man Jesus had raised from the dead. And verse 10 says, then the leading priest decided kill Lazarus too. Now, I, I'm not a rocket scientist. But what I know is that if you came to Lazarus and tried to threaten Lazarus with death, Lazarus would reel back in his chair Pull on his beard and say, I've been there and I've done that. How are you going to threaten me with death? I was sleeping in my grave for four days. You got to keep your eyes on the prize and realize if God be for me, it doesn't matter who's against me. I know that there are others trying to whisper and say, well, if you just remember what happened 10 years ago and five years ago and one year ago and six months ago, if you keep listening to that kind of rhetoric, you will never get your car and drive and move forward and do what God said it is you're supposed to do. Every now and then you gotta say, yeah, that's what I used to be, but I ain't that no more.